Welcome everyone. Adam the Wu here. As the recording of this, it is Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. Standing at Celebration, Florida, right here on Market Street is right over there. Usually I'll start the video, sometimes, right over here near where the fountain is, but opted to start here in front of this very impressive sculpture built by one of the many architects that designed this town back in the mid-90s. Today I'm going to be heading over to Disney Springs and possibly elsewhere. But the day kind of got away with me. Got Did some personal things. Had to take care of some business, if you will. And it's already about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. and realized I need to go get motivated. Get out, do some stuff, document some things, put an episode out, and get a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I've been using the Starbucks app, which is a total game changer. I just order, walk over to the Celebration Starbucks. By the time I go from here, order it, and walk over there, it'll be ready. It's nice not having to, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Nonetheless, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Yeah, this time of day, it gets pretty hectic through here with traffic. Getting later in the evening, it's 4.38 at the moment. I'm gonna take a look at some pins, some Disney pins. I've kind of been going through some of them lately. I've been in have had in a bag for the last couple of years. Even had some from back when Galaxy's Edge opened. So even in 2019, even some into 2020. And I've been kind of going through and seeing which ones I have, which ones I need. And there's a few different characters. Like some of them I'll collect different Mickeys. I think Mickey's like the one I probably have the most of. But then I have a nice little collection of Epcot pens, other theme park pens. So I'm going to pop in the pin trading store while I'm there too. So it's not going to be a pin trading video, but if I see some something that I might need to complete a collection or maybe complete a group of character ones, I might grab those. Wait, wait, there's a lot of traffic through here right now. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And plus, I'm going to go get some coffee. Man, it's just wild how much traffic there is just through here. These are people just trying to get out to the main road. I never noticed this. It's riding down here. Kind of reminds me of the Hollywood days. When I first moved to Hollywood back in 2017, I didn't have a car for six or seven months of the first two years I lived there. So I'd walk around the boulevard, document the boulevard, and a lot of times I would always just look and see what people inscribed on the concrete. That's kind of what that reminds me of. I really need to do an updated video on all the different collectible pins that I have. There's a lot of them, but I'll probably do that after New Year's, after the, after the move. I'll go through all of them and show them, in, show them in great detail. You can pretty much file this one under true vlog because I really have no game plan other than picking up the camera, going out, staying busy, getting motivated, and just filming the day slash afternoon slash evening. File this one under true vlog because it's just there's really no subject. You know, sometimes the best things happen in that scenario where if I wasn't getting motivated to, to do that, I'd probably just pull out my phone, watch something, watch TV, stream something, just, you know, go on social media, waste the rest of the evening, sit around, slumber, and accomplish nothing. And who's to say? Nothing might be accomplished. It actually, let's be honest, probably not a whole heck of a lot will be accomplished, but something might happen. Sometimes when I'm not planning on something to happen and I just go out, you know, just just go out and do stuff, things magically will happen. It's kind of tough to, tough to, to what am I saying? It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough for me to sit still all day, you know, when I get busy doing stuff through the course of the day and then it starts to get later. I'm like, I gotta get out, I gotta go out. I have a problem with sitting still. Kind of like cool over here. Cool the gator. Like if I don't, I don't know, sometimes if I just don't, I feel like if I don't leave, go out and do something, even as mundane is just popping into springs for the evening that I feel like I just haven't if I if I stay home all day 
without stepping foot outside, I feel like I just haven't accomplished just something. It's always, a, it's all about forward momentum. Always keeping the train a rolling. Just to use an analogy. Add in the fact that the weather is amazing right now. 68 degrees. It's gonna get down to 62 or 61 in a few hours. Don't mind it. Might end up grabbing a bite to eat out at the old springs as well. Took me a long time not to call it downtown Disney out here, but I think I've gotten used to the Disney Springs thing now. Parking garage time. Team Orange, Orange Garage. Some people are Team Lime, some people are Team Surface. Well, I don't know if there's any Surface teams, but I'm Team Orange. And a nice little view here of the bus depot down there. Top of the orange. So I think there's a parking lot over there too. I'm not sure which that is which uh, that is designated at. Tangerine. Lemon perhaps. Getting a view there of the Planet Hollywood. And I, I doubt the balloon will be running tonight though because it is kind of windy. I did attempt to ride this the other night I was out here. I had uh, dinner with some friends at Boathouse. We were gonna ride the balloon. It was not operational because of the wind and it looks like that might be the scenario tonight as well. But if it ends up launching, I'll ride the balloon. And when you're on the top floor, there's no escalator down to the next floor down. So you gotta walk through one flight of stairs. There's also an elevator over there too, but. I like to walk in the stairs and then when you get to here, then you can take the escalators there. So the first set of escalators is on the second to top floor, which I think is, yeah, level four. So this is level five, level four. You can just walk down here instead of taking the elevator and then go right over to the escalators. Two spherical objects there. One does not go up in the air and the other one, well, the other one's a permanent fixture that doesn't go up in the air. The other one is a non-permanent fixture that does go up in the air, but will not be tonight because of the wind. Crisscrossing of the escalators. There was one, there's another, there's another, and here's another. Everything all prepared for the holiday Christmas season out here. Going to indoor, well, it's kind of an indoor outdoor area over here, but they got all the lights and the garland all stretched through this little catacomby area where there is a mural of the orange bird right here engraved on, well, painted on the side of this brick, which is pretty cool. I have heard, well, I kind of saw, but I haven't really showed it yet, that they have got all their Happy New Year 23 into 24 merchandise, and it's hard to believe that just in less than, what, two and a half, three weeks? Less than three weeks? Well, way less than three weeks. I don't know the technical amount, but pretty soon it'll be 2024. Yeah, take a look at this. This is kind of like a like 90s fashion style, 34.99 for the for the ears right over here, and then you kind of go over here. Yeah, it kind of has that 90s style vibe. I do you like that Figment is represented on there? The orange bird, you got the Beauty and the Beast flower right there. You got Dumbo, you got Buzz Lightyear, you got the Pixar ball, you got the Aladdin lamp. Now, this is kind of cool too. 2024 like a backpack or a book bag if you will then you got the sweatshirts over here 2024 sweatshirts okay so this is like the mickey version of the mini one here same characters of it this mickey one has the little sorcerer's cap on top and it's strategically placed above his head all right got a little hat wear here the baseball style hat but then also the kind of the bucket style kind of like gilligan's island style hat there's some tumblers over there too all right got new arrivals this just in the lounge fly right here you want to be in the video Randomly Randy is here. <laughs> Hi. You want to talk about what you did today? We flew in to Orlando this yeah. morning. Went to Universal Studios. Now we're at Disney Springs. Yeah, in now one day. One day. You flew we're in. Fly home. You left from up north, flew in, went to Universal, and now you're flying back in the same day. Yep. Did you film that? Are you filming a video? I, I am. Yeah. All right. Babe, go over to Randomly Randy's channel and you can see his future episode whenever it's uploaded. It's, yeah, it's check it out. As quick as yours. Maybe it will. I think you'll have your. Okay, Dare my video will probably be up before yours. I have to go to work tomorrow. So. <laughs> okay. So in a couple days, check out Randy's Randy's video from Universal. What do you think, Randy? You think this would look good on me? You think this would be a, a good look for me right here? I think that. I'm already great getting. On you. I'm already getting in the New Year's uh, the New Year's uh, mood. So last year, when they put out the 23 merch, I said to myself, I am not going to buy any merchandise for 23 until New Year's strikes and I still haven't bought any 23 merch. That's impressive. So, yeah, I, uh, I, w I slacked on that. I slept on the 23 merch. But. So are you going to, you know, just jump right on the 24 before it happens? I think I might go full 24. We got Spaceship Earth over here. We got the sword from Sword in the Stone. 
Anything else I kind of see on here? Really you got Dumbo. There. This is like the the backside of the uh, the nether regions of Dumbo. <laughs> Teacups, Space Mountain, Hollywood Tower, Tiki Room. Figment. Come you on. see Figment? There it is. There's Figment. Very nice. I like the night. What what era does this remind you of? What era, if you had to say style wise? I'm gonna have to. I mean, I would think of the cake. What year? The cake. cake the yeah. birthday cake, yeah. which would be the 90s. Yeah. Remember yeah. what year the birthday cake was? What anniversary for for Disney? Nine. 96. So what anniversary is? Park was built in 71. 25th. There you go. You got it. <laughs> I got a photo of me in the cake somewhere. But I gotta, I gotta dig it up. It's at my parents' house. You got Mickey here, very, very colorful in '90s. Oh, even like a big rig down here, like a full 18-wheeler big rig. And then you got the bus over here. And as I was saying, nothing really says New Year's at Disney like a baseball. Which I don't know. I kind of wonder who would buy this. I mean, I love baseball, but I don't know if I'd ever buy. I mean, I guess maybe someone who's like, you know, you go out and throw, throw the baseball around with your, with your youngin, maybe. Oh, I mean, would you use it, or would you just throw it on your shelf? You put it on a shelf? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so you're showing me some uh, Universal stuff from your trip over there. What do they have on that tree there? The Ride the Movies campaign yes, is Yes, yes, lots of Back classics. Back to the Future, Confrontation. Uh, yeah, Back to the Future somewhere here. Oh, this is a good way for me to look at Universal <laughs> Florida stuff. You can just, you can just send Through me these screens. Photos. This is another thing I always said I was going to buy, but now that I'm seeing this Kermit cookie, cookie jar head, look at this thing. That is a thing of beauty right there. It's almost like nightmare fuel, kind of, but it's also kind of cool. Look at this. It's a cookie jar, right? Yeah, you like open up his skull. You open up. <laughs> it's like that scene from uh, from Indiana Jones Part Two. What was it when you? Ah, uh, yes, the monkeys. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, that disturbed me. I wonder if Stitch has stopped spitting on people because it's the holidays. It doesn't seem like Stitch, at least at this hour after dark is like spitting on anyone. Huh? No, I was incorrect. He was spitting. I just barely, look, I just barely missed the spitting though. Take a look over here. This is cool, the Lego store. I forgot they have the dragon over here. All right, over into the pin trading store where they got the garland up in here as well. And I'm gonna check and see if there's any pins that I could utilize. Well, I'm gonna say I can't. But I can't live without me. I could pretty much live without any pen, but you know, just a pen that I that I might want. Ooh, now I'm not big on wearing the pen lanyards, but take a look at this. There is a monorail pen lanyard here, and it already has the holes in it. That's kind of neat. It already has like the breathable holes that you could put the pens in. That's kind of neat. It comes with like different. Okay, that's, that's just the backside of it there, but they got like a Mickey one. Well, that's different. And there's like all the different animals there yeah so you have like the the textbook one almost so this is interesting this almost looks like a belt i would say that that was like a belt but technically according to this official pin trading gear one day i'm going to invest in one of these this would be like the ultimate pin trading bringing it to the parks and pin trading look at this thing i mean this thing's got like Inside of it, you open it up, and there's like different sleeves you can put all the pins in. I was going through a lot of my pins today, and I have a pretty good collection of Cheshire cats, but I don't have this Cheshire cat, which I kind of glad I went through a lot of them because I didn't know what I had and what I didn't have. I think I'm going to get this out to my Cheshire collection to see what else I can find. I also have a good assortment of Mickeys, but I do not have this Mickey one up here with the WDW of him holding all the balloons. So I'm going to get this one. All right, evidently there's a new Walt pen over here too. So I have an assortment of Walt pens. I'm going to get this one. If you look inside this one here, it has Walt. So I have quite a few Walt's, but I'm going to, think I'm going to get this Walt one also. And speaking of Walt's, here is the Walt Disney Day pen for this year too, for which was released on his birthday. Um, a fifth over here, so I didn't I didn't end up getting that one. So I'm gonna get two wall pins tonight. All right, I got a lot of the Christmas pins already, but now as I was talking about the 24 merch, the 24 merch has also been released. So you got a Mickey over here, you got Stitch. I haven't really started diving into the whole Stitch collecting, but maybe one day I'll start. Uh, I have a few Stitch pens, but I haven't really got a vast collection going of, of those yet. Maybe I'll wait and buy one of these pens on on New Year's. Hopefully, hopefully I remember. All right, yeah, I have a, quite a few Epcot pens, but I don't have this one with the Mickey ears on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one also. I'm just I'm, just, I'm getting a lot of pens today. I think I like about pens; they don't take up a lot of space. 
they take up very, very little space and they're easier, to, easy to travel with and transfer and, you know, move from place to place. They don't take up a lot of space. So, you know, kind of like postcards. I like postcards too. Now, I didn't bring any pens to trade, but if I did, you could trade them on this little thing over here. Look how disgruntled Donald looks. Like, Daisy's in such a good mood, but Donald is just very, very disgruntled and typical Donald crankiness going on right there. One day I'm gonna start collecting Donald pens also. I got a few Donald pens. I'm just trying to like really bump up the, the collections of certain characters and parks that I really like having vast loads of pens from. She's riding around on a sleigh over here. Take a look. There's also some uh, Haunted Mansion Christmas merch over here that you can get for the tree as well. So you got some of the, the mansion characters through here you got the bride this is over in the christmas store there's a 24 7 well not 24 7 because they're closed at night but 365 days a year christmas store where they have the frog's breath they have a lot of the nightmare before christmas stuff has all been moved over to this general vicinity now, this is kind of a neat ornament here you got the disneyland on there so you got the you got the castle there and let's see what's around the back side here oh it's the back of the tv okay but that's kind of Kind of neat, it's like an old-timey TV, almost like the from 1955 opening special, which is great. You got the Mickey Mouse Club over here. You got Steamboat Willie, all the throwback. We got a little tiki room right here. Man, the ornament game is on point here in the Christmas store. Check out Gaston here on his seat. He uses antlers in all of his decorating right here. I learned that from the song. I think Beauty and the Beast is probably my favorite Disney animated film. I like, I like a lot of like Little Mermaid too, but something about Beauty and the Beast just. Yeah, it's a little figurines over here. You got the bus down here from the mansion. You got the bride also. A little nightmare before Christmas there. The cilia, that one lights up. Also, you got Anna and Elsa and Olaf here. I like this Ichabod Crane and Headless Horseman there. That is awesome. Sleepy Hollow one. Rescuers, nice. Pyrus, there's a little dirt foot, dirty foot there. Lion King cast poster for $5,500, signed by a lot of people from the cast. Nathan Lane's on there, James Earl Jones. For a cool, crisp 22 grand, you could go home with a Walt Disney signed check. Walt Disney, the man himself, Walter Elias Disney, hand scribbled and wrote out for deposit. Walt Disney special account, $775, and signed right there. It all started with a mouse and a check for $22,000, $22,000. You can look at that, it says, it says uh, Burbank, California, where the studios are now. You can also, over here, you got Disney's first star, Virginia Davis, right over here is signed there as well, home of the Alice, Com not home of, but star of the Alice comedies, which is one of Walt's first endeavors. All right, this is pretty dang awesome. Always wanted to buy one of the bats from Mansion. $1,800, you can get the bat stanchion over here, a word that I use all the time, but it is a real word. A haunted mansion bat stanchion. Salvaged ancient redwood. Oh, it's carved out of wood. So it's not even like it's not even like a recreation of the metal one, it's just the same image. Eighteen hundred dollars right there. Next to a little little tiny Groot. Ah, I wonder if the Rainforest Cafe volcano will erupt. I've never noticed from here there is a really large mushroom from this angle. Interesting. Now over next to Planet Hollywood is Chicken Guy. We're gonna get some chicken guy. Guy Ferrari named Chicken Guy because it's his first name or at least his like his stage name. I'm not sure what his real first name is. But Chicken Guy has chicken sandwiches, chicken tenders, fries, and an assortment of sauces. That's what we're gonna do. We're down for some Chicken Guy. Ready for some Chicken Guy. Stricken by chicken, salads, sides, Funkalicious feasts down there, and Flavortown shakes as well. Look at this buffalo mac and cheese sandwich. They also have a blat, which is bacon, lettuce, avocado, something called crema tomatoes buttermilk ranch. But I'm kind of leaning towards the butter buffalo mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, smoked bacon, buffalo, something called SMC, and garlic parmesan. Many years ago, I believe it was late 91, probably 92, I went to the grand opening that night of Planet Hollywood. Rosie O'Donnell was there, Willis was there, Bruce Willis, Arnold was there, 
can't remember what other, who else was there, but it was a long time ago. It's been like, what, 21 years, 30, 31 years. You see on there that you might, might end up getting Randy. I'm not sure yet, honestly. <laughs> You're doing the smart thing though. I do, I, occasionally I will do this where I'll take a photo of a menu and then I'll browse it while we're waiting in line. Is this slaw on that? The buffalo slaw went in the middle? The... Usually I just get the chicken strips. But I kind of want maybe a sandwich tonight. That's, you're getting chicken strips, right? Yeah, they're getting chicken strips. Right. Right. I gotta get some kind of sandwich. I don't know what though. I like mac and cheese. Do I have to eat it all in one big bite though? Probably not. You can probably take a couple bites. Yeah, <laughs> you can multiple, take several. Big, yes. Multiple big bite sandwiches. Several big bites. All right, we just handed this of all the different sauces. Special sauce, donkey sauce, chipotle sauce, buffalo, honey mustard, garlic parmesan, Nashville and hot honey, sweet and sour. Okay, that's the back there. I think I'm going to get the donkey sauce. I remember, I think the donkey sauce is pretty good. It's mayo, roasted garlic, mustard, Worcestershire, and lemon. Man, that chicken has no idea what's about to happen. Down the assembly line, man. They get this stuff out quick. This is very fast paced. Number 71, they're going to bring the food out. I got the, uh, this is flavor all day, even into the night. This is water, which doesn't have a lot of flavor. Did you get the lemonade here? I got the lemonade. The full on lemonade action. Very nice. You got some sauce. Did you try the sauces? Uh, I did choose some sauces. I, I didn't choose any sauces. What did you end up ordering? The, what did I get? <laughs> the bourbon. The bourbon chicken? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess the bourbon would be a flavor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want that straw. It's paper straws. No, I know. You're not a fan of paper straws? I'm not. I yeah, like I'm not either. The worst thing is eating something that's like a, a dessert, like almost like a slushy or like a ice cream float or something mm -hmm. in a paper straw, and it lasts about two seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. California started with the paper straw thing, and now Florida has kind of jumped on that bandwagon. Not cool. Yeah, I just but I, I just go straight in like this. I just just sip it like that. I might, yeah. Yeah, yeah just take the to top off. You're right. You're You're right. Right. Don't give into it. Go in topless. Go in topless. So All you, right, there's a little bit of a mishmash. I got I got a three piece nugget here, and then I think the fries come with the nuggets. But then I off. Oh. I got the pickles. I got the deep fried pickles. So these are yours. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. <laughs> so I got the fried pickles, and then one of these is grilled cheese. This is, isn't that grilled cheese? Oh, that's cheese? the grilled cheese right there. Yeah. That's your grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Yeah. This is the most confusing <laughs> order. It, this of food. is called a BM something. BMA. So that's probably bourbon. Mine. Yeah, bourbon. Bourbon something. But that looks like chicken, and I ended up getting chicken and a. Uh, Look at the what do you call it? Yeah, mac and cheese. Yeah, I think that's oh, that's B Mac. B Mac. Oh, it says so B Mac. I think so. There it buffalo is. Buffalo mac and cheese. Buffalo that mac and sense. cheese. Okay, very very good. That makes sense. So I got the buffalo <laughs> mac and cheese, and some fries, and then my sauces down Oops, here. Some of your pickles fell out on the track. Well, you, well, the pickles are for the table, so you guys feel free to okay. grab, some, grab some. And the so the sauces I chose to get was the donkey sauce, the special sauce. And a buttermilk ranch. I think do I get two sauces or three? Did you guys get? I, you got three. I'm pretty okay. sure. I didn't Butter, get any. <laughs> you didn't get any sauce? No. And no, what's the Q? I have no idea. That's James Bond's assistant. Yes. Q. But well, who ordered the Q? You got a bourbon. That's the bourbon. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Grab your bourbon. That's what happened when you open it up. It doesn't matter. I don't even know. Does bourbon chicken have alcohol in it? Yep. That's bourbon alcohol. Okay. Bourbon and coleslaw. All right. Nice. All right. There it we looks go. Looks pretty good. That man knows how to make a sandwich. Yep. Has some pickles on it. Even though it's just chicken strips between two pieces of bread with the topping. But yeah, got it. He still knows how to make a sandwich. Yes, donkey sauce and a bee mac. Ooh, I don't even want to. Where do you say your ratio of putting time into a thumbnail is? If you had to say percentage wise, how much time do you put into a thumbnail? I don't put much time at all. I, this is my thumb, <laughs> this is how much time I put into a thumbnail. Basically, I just do this, and I feel like maybe people want to see donkey sauce up in their face. <laughs> or, oh, are you filming me that? You're getting the, you know what I also could do? Adam's flavor all day. Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. One of them's gotta be a winner. But I don't have the chicken guy logo in here. So I could do this. <laughs> there, that's better, right? There you go. You gotta have the logo in there. There you go. There was 
just looking at me as I, as I walk by. Then you gotta wonder, like, you do it this way. All right, just two minutes of <laughs> wait. <laughs> Adam has it in detail because we're very confused. But he's still posing. He's still posing. This is a nutritious sandwich. You've almost eaten all your food the whole time I was posing. <laughs> all right. It's got the mac and cheese on there, which is good. They give you the option of getting grilled or fried chicken. Go with the fried. So you can get grilled on the sandwich also. It's pretty good. I've only had the strips. I've never had the sandwiches here. I didn't realize it was going to have bacon on until it showed up. <laughs> How's yours? Very good. You ever do food reviews on your channel? I don't. No? No. Just wait, you will. And actually, I lied. I did one one time at Epcot. What'd you do at Epcot? I don't remember. Well, oh, must have left quite an impression. The fries have a really good seasoning on them, too. Ooh, I gotta, like, show the donkey sauce. The only reason I get the donkey sauce is because of the name. Yeah, if you guys want to try any of my sauces, I got this special <laughs> sauce. Special sauce here going on. Which almost just kind of looks like, almost looks like Big Mac sauce, kind of. I was gonna say, yeah. Yesterday I had a Big Mac, but I dropped half of it on the ground before I ate it. I was so disappointed. That's extremely disappointing. But I ate the other half, but not the half that was on the ground. <laughs> I was gonna say, not the half that fell, right? I, I almost did. I was wondering because he said he, he dropped half of it on the ground before he ate it, so. <laughs> like, I was going to, but I waited more than five seconds. <laughs> The five second rule, but it was like a good eight seconds. Which that's is good if you're. The ten second rule. There's a ten second rule? Yes. No, that's when it becomes the ten second rule. Okay. Next time. <laughs> if I was riding a bull, eight seconds would be the rule. <laughs> Isn't eight seconds good when you're bull riding? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember that movie, Eight Seconds? We saw that, right? We should do the film. We should do a collaboration on the filming locations of eight seconds. <laughs> Got six people would watch it. This is really done good. Do you like yours? Yes. Yep. I this can't is, tell. This is why I don't do food reviews. Oh, okay. It is very good. It's good. But this Give me is why I don't do food reviews. Give me some excitement. Give me what you. How do you feel? It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna use that as the thumbnail. <laughs> People be like, what channel am I on? <laughs> All right, no joke. This is really good. There's like some kind of sauce in the middle that I did not put on. It's not one of the donkeys, the secret sauce. But there's like a sauce in the middle that is so freaking good. I would definitely get this again. This, uh, whatever, it's chicken strip with the uh, mac and cheese, a little spicy mac and cheese, and the two pieces of bread. Yeah, this is a game changer getting an actual sandwich style. At Guy, for, at Guy Ferreri's instead of just getting the strips. The strips are good, but it's really good when you got some bread around it and some mac and cheese kind of like layered on there. Look how greasy this thing is. This is like oozing grease. What if Guy Ferreri's ever been to this spot? I know, we need more napkins. If they ever met Guy Ferreri, I'd be like... You can ask him what the name of that chicken was that he was holding in the photo. Oh, the chicken in there? Yeah. You think that chicken is still around? You think that chicken's still with us? I don't believe so. I think that would got to get. What if it was Guy? Be kind of messed up, pose with him and then eat him? You'd be really messed up if Guy was a vegetarian. And he opened this place. You're not wrong. There's a lot of vegetarian uh, fake meat sandwiches, like beef. Is there a fake chicken sandwich? Is there a vegetarian no chicken sandwich? <laughs> There's vegetarian like like fake meat, like beef, but is there a fake chicken? I don't know. Thank you. You're Very messy. You if there's not, I want to have some kind of like part in that. I'm gonna call up guy. <laughs> Maybe they have a vegetarian burger in there. 
No, get up. It's a plant-based product from soy, gluten, wheat. It's like a soy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Soy and gluten? And pea protein. Pea protein? Yep. Yeah. Oh, like pea, like the, like a... <laughs> yeah, like a not, pea not pea. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like the best. Hey, man, sign me up. <laughs> Just realized I got to try one of these little uh, fried pickles right here in the secret sauce. The fried pickles are pretty good. They have a little kick to them. And the balloon never launched again because it was just too windy. The temperature dropped considerably after the sun went down. It's pretty chilly out there now. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.